it's another autumnal start to the day. Early morning, I say early morning, I'm past eight now. On a, a Sunday morning, I say autumnal start. It's going to be because we're in autumn. Yeah, I mean autumn. It's certainly a chilling place. What I mean, I've shot autumnal themed subjects so far, and that's a few trees. That's a bit of light, early morning light. Anyway, welcome to Photo Walk 7. I had a bit of a break last week because um, the day before, the Saturday, I went to the Lake District. Had a bit of a hike. Damaged my knee. I didn't, my knee hurt. I've got an ongoing problem doing my uh, calf muscles for some reason. So, yeah. I was uh, not the best when it comes to mobility. You know, when you get to my age, you got to consider these things. I'm not that old. Anyway, the choice of JPEGs today comes from a um, certain fellow YouTuber, friend of mine, called... Uh, what's he called again? Mal Malcolm. Ma Mick. Malley. That's it. Malley. Malley Davidson. Um, yeah, and he recommended this JPEG recipe more towards a urban theme, but I'm going to use it as a semi-rural theme, as it were. Well. Oh, I know. Basically, it involves, he's named it the Leica, the Leica JPEG. And basically, what it is, what's that? Basically, what it is is the increase in the saturation, contrast, and also using a warm white balance. Again shooting into the sun. So it is going to be overexposed or part of the images, but I don't mind that because I've said it before. I just think it, it creates that ambient added feel to the image. So I'm following my usual route, nothing different today, but of course places routes look different depending on the weather conditions and we've got some nice bright sunshine today so it just gives it a different view different eye the uh, sun's at a different angle of course as well the sun doesn't rise as much above the horizon in that sense isn't it at this time of year so that will again give different different appearance to what there has been uh, in comparison to late summer and that's what I'm looking for you can never stop doing a route when it comes to photography because it'll keep giving you different options each time uh, but yeah two week gap without the GR missed it so this road I'm on at the moment is about I don't know, about a mile long and all I seem to be attracted to I'm going to lift the camera today right, is lines and the light bouncing off the walls, the verge the road, the markings I'm looking into the sun so there's a lot of sameness about today's images but looking around, look at this the wheat's been reaped reaped so there's not much going on there but the light here the shadows yeah I'm uh, getting a bit stalled here in terms of photography so I need other, other options I'm going to head down to the cemetery and get up close to my subjects right what I'm going to do I'm going to change the metering mode I it on centre weighted I'm going to change it to highlight uh, weighted. I think that'll give that extra pop I'm looking for. Also, bear in mind that given the JPEG choice, the colours will look different. That's nice. I'm just going to show you what moving around the subject and the difference it has towards the way the metering of the camera so 
here. Here, it's exposing for the cross itself. But if I move around here, it's exposing more towards the sky, obviously. And that's going to reduce exposure. Remember, I don't want to think too much about settings. This is about thinking ahead. I just let the camera do its work as it was. See this, this maple here. Let's get closer to this. So the camera won't show because the GoPro exposes for the whole of the scene, of course. Um, but if we play around and change the meter mode of a, as I have to focus meter more on the highlights. So it makes it pop on this occasion getting up close has given me the best options even something like this using the shadows creating that geometric shape diagonal running across the frame of course you've got the fallen autumnal leaves which is just creating that nice bit of color very versatile as a square crop really make things stand out i find A lot of fallen branches and twigs from the backlash of the recent storm we've had. <laughs> anyway, I've left the cemetery. I'm going to head back home now, see what else I can find. In the meantime, I'll share today's gallery. Remember, the purpose of these vlogs is just to keep it simple. No hairs and graces. Get out there. Just test your vision, really. It's not about testing as well, it's about being open, just allowing your eye to not be judged by anything or anyone. You can still delete the rubbish ones. Anyway, until next time, bye bye for now.